Welcome back everyone to my next Source Filmmaker tutorial. Now this one is actually going to be a rehash of an old tutorial that I had on my original channel. But I thought it probably would be best to polish it up a little bit so, you know, everyone can have it on this channel as well. So what I'm going to be teaching you today is actually how to use multiple maps in a single instance of Source Filmmaker. This is actually a great way to save time if you don't want to go back and, you know, re-render some scenes on different maps and then add it together in post-production. And it's actually pretty easy to learn, so let's get on with this tutorial. Now as you can see, I have everything already set up in Source Filmmaker. Basically, I have a derpy model here who is uh, going through a flying animation cycle. And we're going to basically move her from this current stage map to the new home where she wants to be, which is going to be Black Void for this example. The first thing you want to do is actually go to the area where you want to cut this thing in half. Now. I'm actually just going to cut it in half directly in the middle. So once you have your two separate scenes ready, all you really need to do is right click the new scene where you're going to have a different map at and go into show an element viewer. You'll notice this map name right here, and along with that three dots. You want to click this, and you'll get a new pop-up. You want to then search for the new map where you want this scene to take place. Once you're done doing that, you want to assure that it saves the name for that, so just click off on the side right here, and that should set it. Now you want to right-click your second shot, show an element viewer, and under map name, you want to choose the current map that it's on. And once again, click off the side so it sets it. And just to be double sure that it has these maps set correctly, you just want to right-click the second shot again, make sure it's on black void and then do the same for the first shot. So now that we're actually done doing that we need to just unload this current map and load it onto our new map. But we're not just done yet, we need to do one more thing before we can get this rendering out properly. Right click your first shot again, show an element viewer, then go up at least three times on the tree here. You'll notice another map name here and it'll be on the current map. You want to highlight this and just delete it. And once again, left click on the side here to assure that it sets it. Now on your timeline, scrub backwards to the first shot. If you get this new prompt up top, that actually means you did it correctly. Now whenever you render it out, it'll actually come through perfectly. Now a forewarning for anyone, if you're actually using multiple shots on the same map cut into different segments, I want to make a quick warning that you need to make sure that every shot is set to the map that it's currently residing on, and to also make sure that you scrub up on the tree three times and ensure that it's deleted that current map name. The reason you want to do that is otherwise it won't load the map properly for that scene. But you only need to do that for the previous shots and not the new shots that are made on the new map. So just to show you that this actually worked, I'm going to be selecting both of these shots and rendering them out for you. And as you can see, it's loading the map. And right there, you can see she's on the stage. Don't mind the lighting, I forgot that I turned it off. And just like that, it's loading map again. And now she's in Black Void. So there you go, in less than a few minutes, you learned how to load multiple maps in a single instance of Source Filmmaker. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial, and as always, make sure to thumb up, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I'll be making a lot more, and as well as continuing my 3D modeling tutorials very soon. So all I can really say now is thank you all for watching my tutorial, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.